When I shifted to a group coaching program, my income quadrupled in just over a year. If you're interested how you can structure your group coaching program, stay tuned. I'm going to share what I've learned in this video. I love group coaching programs. Personally, it was a game changer for me in my business when I switched from a one-on-one -on -one model to group coaching. The benefits of group coaching are many. <laughs> the first is that it leverages your time. When you're working one-on-one, -on -one, you often find yourself repeating the same things over and over again. And by switching to a group program, you can deliver these, this information one time and have everybody hear it at the same time. Another benefit of doing a group coaching program is that it's more lucrative. Obviously, you can work with more people instead of working one-on-one -on -one when you're working in a group. Now, another piece of, of group coaching that I love is that it also, in my opinion and in my experience, delivers better results. So whereas the old version of me that didn't really know how to do group coaching and didn't fully believe in it, thought that one-on-one -on -one was more valuable, now I know today that the work that we do in groups is actually way more valuable than the work I ever did one-on-one -on -one in person. So I'm a big believer in group coaching programs and I'm really excited to share with you some of the things I've learned along the way. So I've gathered nine things to consider as you're structuring your, your group program. The first is whether you're gonna do open enrollment versus closed enrollment. So the distinction between open and closed enrollment is that in open enrollment, people can sign up at any time for your group coaching program. Now, the benefit of that is obviously that people can sign up at any time. So if you meet somebody on Monday and on Thursday they want to join your program, boom, they can. Now, the problem with that is that it keeps you constantly in marketing and sales mode, which for some of us can be really exhausting, me included. Now, a closed enrollment process or a closed enrollment model is one where you have open enrollment just at specific times. Maybe it's once a year, twice a year, once a quarter, once a month, but essentially that you limit enrollment to specific periods. That's what we do now. What we do now is that every time we have a retreat, which is four to six times a year, we open enrollment just during that retreat. And what that does for us is that it allows us to say, hey, our three-day retreat is our core foundational program, and if you want to join our group coaching program, you have to come through there first. The benefit of that is that it makes double, triple sure that the people we sign up for our group coaching program are a good fit. Once you've spent three days with somebody, you generally have a pretty good idea if they're a good fit or not. So open versus closed enrollment. Another benefit of closed enrollment is that it allows you to focus on delivering to your clients rather than constantly being in sales and marketing mode. So you open up enrollment, you're focused on sales and marketing, and then you closed enrollment and you're focusing on delivering value to your people. The second thing to consider I've already touched on, which is how are you gonna, what's your enrollment process to get people into your group coaching program? Like I said, I prefer a process where people come in and spend three days with us because our group coaching program is very robust. Yours may or may not be, but because our program is so high touch and we do so much work with our clients so in depth, it's very important that we know that our clients are a good fit for us. So we like to spend three days with them in person before we enroll them. So you wanna think about what's a good enrollment process for you. Do you like to hop on the phone with people, spend an hour checking in with them and then enrolling them like that? or do you prefer to enroll them for, for, from an event? So think about how you're gonna do the process of enrolling people into your group program. The third thing to look at is do you want to have a curriculum or do you wanna have it be more flowy? So if you have an open enrollment program, right, then it's hard to have a specific curriculum because people come in and come in at any time there's not a specific curriculum that you're running through. Now, if you have a closed enrollment, then you can have them go through a curriculum when they first onboard. Now, you can figure out a way to do curriculum with open enrollment, and the way around that, the way to do that, is to potentially record your core curriculum and have it be part of a foundational recorded virtual program so that they can consume it when they come in while they're also involved in the group coaching program. Make sense? Now in our program, we like to have a little bit more flow. Since we do have enrollment four to six times a year, we have people coming in on a pretty regular basis. So the way that we do it is that we give our foundational core content in our retreat 
Then we have an archive. We have a website with archives of various lessons. So depending on whether somebody needs branding, there's branding content. If they need marketing, here's marketing content. If they need mindset, here's the mindset content. And then I have a coach who works with me, which I'll share more about in a minute, who helps to direct them to the correct content. Another way to structure your program is to offer events and have it all built around events. That's kind of what we've done with our business. I've already shared with you about our retreats to enroll people, but once they're in our backend program, we also use retreats to deliver the program. So we have a hybrid model that incorporates a whole bunch of different elements. And one of those elements is something we call family vacation. Family vacation is a four day event where only our clients who are in our group coaching program come and we have massive breakthroughs and transformations there. Another thing to think about in your group coaching program is do you want to provide some sort of one-on-one support? Now, again, the benefit of group coaching is that you're leveraging your time, but sometimes people need more individualized support. So you can provide that by offering some one-on-one, which is something what we do. I offer, I have one-on-one support built into my group coaching program. And I also have a coach who supports me and delivers one-on-one coaching as needed to our clients. Another thing I do is something called office hours. Office hours are times when periodically I'll hop on a Zoom line and I'll be there for two hours and whoever wants to jump on can jump on and ask me questions. We also call this fishbowl coaching because it's understood that if you're on, then other people might be on too and paying attention and listening. So fishbowl coaching or office hours allows you to have a little bit of structure and also incorporate some flow into there too. Another thing that we do in our group coaching program that you might wanna consider as part of your structure is to offer live periodic calls. So we do a live weekly call with the whole group. And not everybody comes to every call, but we also record the call and put it into an archive on that website that I mentioned earlier. Finally, I did mention that I was talking, would talk about the coach that I hired. So I brought in one of our, one of our clients actually who'd been through our coaching program and was a real diehard fan and was saying that she really loved the work that we did and she wanted to contribute and support. So we actually hired her part time to be available to our clients and be able to book calls with our clients to support them in moving through the material and moving through the the concepts that we were bringing to them. So those are some ways to structure your coaching program. I know that there's a lot more out there, but I hope that gives you some clarity to start out with. If you wanna learn more about how we can help you build out your coaching program, then go ahead and click on the link below and book a free discovery call so you can explore if and how we might be able to support you. Hope to be able to help you soon.